everybody, it's David with davidspassage.com uh, coming to you with a, another product review video. It's, uh, it's early November in Michigan um, and I know you're going to think I'm crazy for doing a review on this particular product on a, on a day where it's 30 degrees outside. Um, but I just picked this up in the early season and I wanted to try it out for a season before I um, did a review of it uh, just so that I could have a season of experience with the product before I brought it to you. And the product I want to review today and sort of talk to you a little bit about is the ENO uh, Bug Nip. Now this is a this is a product I definitely first of all I just definitely recommend it for bug nets in terms of hammock camping. Um, but I want to go over it, show you how to set it up, and as I set it up, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of its features. It comes in a bag just like this. It looks very similar to the uh, ENO hammocks. Um, the bag is attached to the bug net, just like the the bags on the ENO hammocks are attached to the to the hammocks and uh, has a little buckle right here you undo. You can open it up with this little toggle here. Pull that open. <clears throat> again, again, this is the, the ENO uh, bug net. When I pull this out, you get an idea what it is. It's made of a, of a no CM type of, of mesh fabric and uh, it's pretty, pretty tightly packed in this bag here. I'll give you a little close-up of this fabric. It's a really nice noceum fabric, and it is a very tightly woven mesh. You know, it, I'm very confident. You know, there's not a bug out there that's going to make it through this this mesh. But just to give you an idea, let's see if I can get a macro shot of this real quick for you. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Uh, you can see my fingernails through that, and uh, you can tell how tightly woven that is. Um, on the ends, it's made of a very durable nylon material on both ends, and, and the, 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 uh, the seams are sewn very, very well, um, very, very tight, very, 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 very durable. Again, a no seam fabric, no bugs are getting through that um, when it's set up properly. Now, I bought it at Gander Mountain. It did not come with setup instructions when I bought it, so I kind of had to figure out how to do it myself. I did go to the ENO website, and they had a very basic um, setup diagram on their website. I thought I would just just go through the setup process with you though so that you can kind of see um, what it's all about. When it's all said and done, it's long enough to cover a D in ENO double nest hammock. And uh, if you can see that or not, pretty big. Again, just like the ENO double nest and single nest hammocks, uh, the bag is attached right there and uh, as such. On the top of the ridge line part, it comes with several of these um, little clips. And the idea behind these clips is, is to hang that um, on a ridge line. Now, it did come with uh, some cordage you know, for a ridge line, but what I discovered was that it, it's very inferior cordage. Um, and if you've ever gone hammock camping, you know, sometimes, sometimes the trees you're hanging from um, are all different sizes. Sometimes they're different paces apart. You know, I generally like to like to hang my hammock up about four big paces between the trees, uh, or I find two trees that are four big paces apart to hang my hammock on. And what I found was the cordage that it came with was not long enough, and nor did I feel it was durable enough to really use. So I'm not going to use the the cordage that it came with today. I'm going to actually show you how to use it with paracord. The cordage it came with uh, originally was very thin, very easy to snap over these guys. But I found out that um, that using paracord is just as just as effective. It's a little bit more snug, but it works well. It has two zippers. Okay, and each zipper is double-sided, so um, if you want to zip it all the way up and then zip it down, or you want to zip it all the way down and zip it up, you can do that, but it's also double-sided zippers. So when you're in the, uh, the hammock itself, when you're in the hammock on the outside, you can, uh, or on the inside, you can grab a zipper and unzip it. From the outside, you can do the same thing. So I'm just going to go over and show you a little bit about how to set it up and how I like to set it up, give you a little bit of an idea of how it hangs with a big guy like me sitting in a hammock and uh, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do uh, when you set it up, you wanna make sure that the bag on your ENO hammock is empty, otherwise this doesn't necessarily work very well. You wanna take your, your, your bug net and you wanna unzip the bug net. You wanna unzip it so you can reach inside. Take your hand and go inside the bug net, bring it all the way to the end here so your hand sticks out of that end part, okay? Then what I like to do is just take the carabiner that I'm using on my one side, 
unclip it, and then bring that hammock through on that side there. Bring it up through the end, hook it back up to your carabiner. Just like that, okay? And I like to do the same thing to the other side here. So now that the now that the bug net is on my hammock, what I'm going to do is start taking these clips, and I'm going to start to clip it to my ridge line. Again, I'm using 550 paracord. You can use the cord that came with, um, but using the you know the way I like to set up my tarp when I go hammock camping, the tarp goes over my ridge line, and so I can hang this from my uh, my my tarp ridge line without having an extra piece of cordage, extra knots to worry about, that sort of thing. Now to finish it off, all you have to do is uh, make sure your, your, your hammock is inside of the, uh, the bug net. Um, grab this little toggle deal here and cinch it up. And you can see um, on the end there, you know, that can, you can cinch that up really tight. Bugs aren't getting in there. And that works out really, really well for me, for the most part. Now, if you use the ridge line that it came with, you can actually bring it uh, a little bit lower. You can bring the bug net a little bit lower than, than your, your tarp ridge line. Um, the reason why I mention that is because if I were to lay in this thing as it is, okay, what I found... Uh, <laughs> If I were to lay in this thing as it is, as I've set it up here, what I found is as the as the tarp or as the um, as the hammock gets um, tense, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that hole starts to open up. Now, if I were to sit in it, the holes on both of those ends would would open up, which is why I, my guess is they included the extra piece of cordage. Again, the cordage they they uh, provide with it is just not long enough, um, not a really good piece of cordage. And I'll show you what I like to do so that this doesn't happen. All you have to do is take the very last clip on each side and unclip it. Okay, make sure both of your sides are cinched up real good. Just like that. Just like that. Now, it's not exactly how they suggest to hang it. Um, take it as you will, but what I found is it works out really well. And uh, I'm going to sit in it real quick and show you um, how well it actually works. So. So even setting it up a little bit different, you know, here, um, you don't miss out a lot. And it, when you're inside, you can't really tell the difference. I mean, there's, there's plenty of headroom in there, um, plenty of playroom. So you can, you can totally ditch that second piece of cordage and uh, just go with the ridge line. Now, normally when I would tarp camp, um, hammock camp, I have a tarp that goes over this. So um, some people, if, if you like your ridge line above um, your, your tarp for whatever reason, you know, I would suggest bringing along another piece of paracord because Again, I don't know if you can see, you know, these two trees are not that far apart, and yet the cordage that they provide is not long enough to go around both those trees. That's it for the, for the most part. Now, there's one piece. Now, if, if any of you guys have any experience with this, i got to ask you a question because there's a little feature on this, on this, uh, this bug net that I am just not sure um, what it is. I'm going to show that to you real quick. On both ends of this uh, bug net, one of the things I'm not so sure, but you can see that that the end is still cinched up, even though I put my weight in there and everything. But uh, there's a little piece of cord that's attached here. 
along with this little loop. Now, in the instructions and on the ENO website, there is nothing mentioned about what this is for. I kind of have a couple ideas. I mean, I have, a, I have an idea that, you know, in case you don't have a ridge line, um, you could you could tie these to trees as they are, um, or use them in conjunction with the included piece of cordage. Um, but I'm not quite sure, and it's not in any of their documentation that I that I found on their website, nor it's in, it's not in their setup instructions or any of the PDFs that come with it. So if you're watching this and you know what that is, what this little uh, this little loop here and this little extra piece of cordage is for that's attached to the the thing, please let me know. I've never used it and I'm kind of tempted to just cut it off. Um, so <laughs> if you know something I don't, please let me know. Finally, what I'd like to do this morning is show you how I like to put it away. Now, that's another thing with the, with the ENO double nest. It was kind of embarrassing when I went shopping for these things and I was in the store and I'm trying to inspect the product, see if it's something that I want to purchase. And I pull it out of the bag. And of course, the bag's attached, you know, but I pull it out of the bag and then what? It's like I couldn't figure out how to get it back in. I'm a, I'm, I'll admit I'm a total noob, but I just want to show you a little bit about, uh, uh, just go over the process of how I like to pack this thing up. That way you can uh, you can do with it what you want, but it'll give you an idea so you don't get embarrassed in the store, pull the thing out, and have a hard time putting it back together. So to put it back together, first of all, I'm going to zip the thing up. I'm going to put the zipper towards the bag, um, just how I like to do it. Take the leaves out. Okay. Then what I like to do is, is kind of spread it out a bit, make sure it's nice and open, and kind of fold it over on itself. Fold the zipper over on itself down towards the bag this. It's a little thinner, kind of wind that up. Then what I like to do, um, starting from, you know, you got the bag in the middle, and you got the two sides of the bug net. This is kind of rolled down quite a bit. Okay. I like to make a really tight, really tight uh, sort of, um, and not a knot, but just sort of a, a, a bunch of this. Just bunch this up really tight. Again, this is very durable fabric. Make that as small of a, of a knot as possible, or as small of a bunch as possible. I'm gonna shove that first end way down in the bottom of the bag. And they fit in there pretty tight. It fits. And make sure when you're putting this in, you, you get that bunch in there, you put it all the way, try to shove it all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Bunch that up real good. Use my thumbs if I have to. Shove it in there. And it's all said and done. Oh, got to get that cordage in there. When everything's packed back in there, just grab that handy dandy cincher there. There we go. Pull that tight. Push the toggle in there.
button it up, cinch it down. Again, this is the ENO Guardian Bug Net, and uh, I think it's a great product. It's well worth the money, especially in Michigan when it gets hot and muggy on those summer nights. Those mosquitoes are out like gangbusters. Uh, definitely suggested as far as a bug net. I, I tooled around with, with trying to make one myself, um, looking up, we did some research in terms of where I could get the material at, and for the price, it just wasn't worth the time when I could just buy this. This wasn't that much more money than, than what it would have cost for me to get the materials from, say, Joanne Fabrics or somewhere online anyways. And, you know, you know makes good stuff. They, they put a lot of uh, hard work into their products. It's good quality stuff, and so um, don't waste your time trying to make it, in other words, because unless you know someplace that you, where you can get that no seam fabric on the cheap, um, and this is already set up for hammock, you don't have to worry about all the patterns. And so, you know, I'll admit, there's some, there's some reward to making your own gear. Um, there's some sense of self-satisfaction, that sort of thing, and I'll give you props if that's what you want to do, but for me, um, time is money, and so it was just easier for me to, to just spend the money on this product and then get it. And I highly suggest it. It's really durable fabrics, um, really good seams. The seams are really good, you know, really uh, quality seams. Plus, it's really small. It's lightweight and uh, for bug, as far as a bug net goes. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope, I hope it was a help to you in, in showing you a little bit about bug nets and hammock camping and that sort of thing. Um, I would appreciate your comments on it if you want to let me know what you think or if you have another way of hanging these things or if you, especially if you know what that stupid cord is. Otherwise I'm cutting it off. Um, I'm sick of having to deal with it in here. It's just one more little piece of something that I can get rid of out of my pack and and if you're a backpacker you know you just trim everything you can. So, um, so thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your views. If you want to learn more about this ENO um, Guardian Bug Net, you can head over to my website, davidspassage.com. I'll post some pictures uh, of it on there, and uh, you can even, there'll be a product link to it if you want to purchase one. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your views. Appreciate your subscriptions, your comments, um, and appreciate your likes on Facebook or on Twitter and all that good stuff. So I just love, uh, love uh, interacting with, with the camping community. So thanks again for watching. You guys have a great day, and uh, have a great rest of whatever's left of camping season which really doesn't have an end, does it? <laughs> In the meantime, head on over to davidspassage.com. Thanks again.